diatonic seventh circle pattern, major keys. There will be two different voicings for this. We are using, again, diatonic seventh chords, which we had practiced, uh, we would have practiced earlier uh, before we do this uh, quiz. So this is the uh, circle pattern or descending fifth pattern, uh, which has been used for you know hundreds of years. Um, it's what, you know, Western harmony uh, really is. The, the traditional Western harmonic language is really this chord pattern. So uh, here we're using diatonic seventh chords just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So we'll start with the tonic and we'll circle down diatonically until we get back to Do. So even though I see a descending fifth pattern, uh, uh, practically in the left hand, uh, you'll be going up a fourth, down a fifth, up a fourth, down a fifth, up a fourth, down a fifth, up a fourth, which is, um, yeah, which is actually all descending fifths because a descending fifth is the same as an, uh, is the same as an ascending fourth. Um, if you prefer to go the other way, to start by going down a fifth and then up a fourth makes no difference at all. Okay, whatever you prefer. Um, let's take a look at uh, the key of C, which is the key given as an example. Well, all the keys are given, but it starts with C. Uh, it's important to think of the pattern and what notes move and what notes stay the same. So if we start with the, uh, the first voicing, which is with the seventh in the top, that means we're dealing with the tonic which is a major seventh, and we're starting with the seventh in the top. But we're leaving out the root and letting the left hand play the root. We're le letting the left hand play the root. So the right hand will never play the root. It will just play the third, fifth, and the seventh. So if you think of the first two chords, uh, three chords rather, C, then F, and then B diatonically, this is the leading tone half diminished seven T re fa la so um, th those are the uh, first three chords remember that this is not playing the root only the only the left hand will play I like to start with four there so that I can go to five without um, stretching now uh, let me go to the next one as well after this, which is E minor 7. And let's stop and think about the pattern there. So you'll notice a pattern. Okay. So let's, let's, let's talk about it. Here, if you think about the third of the chord, the third will become the seventh in the next chord. So what's happening here is the thumb is replaced with the second finger. And you will drop this down a third. But the top moves by step. Okay. Now the third will become the seventh in the next chord, so that will stay the same. And these two will come up by step. So this is very easy. This will come up, and the pinky will stay the same. Okay. And now again, the pattern resumes. Okay. Thumb will come down a third, one, two, three, and the pinky will go down a step. And next one, pinky stays the same, these two come up. Okay. Okay. Uh, pinky stays the same, these two will come up. And okay. so that's the pattern. We need to get used to it. Let's try it in a different key. We'll try it in an easier key like a F instead of a horrendous black one. So again. Uh, the, let's start higher up. A 
over here, and then, oh, sorry, I forgot my pattern. Okay. Let's try another one, um, A flat major. Okay, a little, little bit harder. So that's the first voicing with the seventh in the top.